Good evening, Greasy families, and welcome to this evening's open house event, HYL. Uh, this evening, we are privileged to meet on the Stolo and Sea traditional territory of the Palalt, Chilwayak, and Samath peoples. I'd just like to have a quick uh, outline of the evening today. Uh, that's the evening. Uh, we'd like to start off with our, some introductions from um, Mr. Chuck Lawson and um, an opening video that outlines some of our school programs. Uh, followed by our council team to discuss a bit about course collection for grade nines and, and the services they offer. And then we have two opportunities for breakout rooms where you may uh, have discussions with teachers that you're interested in this program so they can give you more specific one-on-one -on -one, um, items that, uh, to share with them. So Mr. Lawson, uh, if you're there, feel free to jump in and, and address our, our families tonight. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Bernard. So welcome family, it's great to have you here. We really appreciate it and welcome students. And a special welcome to all the, the new families who have not connected with GW very before. It really means a lot for you to take the time to be able to learn about different programs and opportunities that we offer. Celebration halls and families, I encourage you to get involved with GW Graham. There's so many activities within our theater and within our gymnasium, library, throughout the entire school. So we look forward to the day of having you through our school and we can give you a tour, get involved with you name it. So welcome. Thanks so much, very much for joining us. Students, I still wish you all the best for a wonderful year. Enjoy your middle school experience and all the best for a great year. And there'll be time. We'll have you here soon. And again, very excited to have you here. I'm going to do just some brief introductions as far as I, of course, I cannot introduce the entire team here. I'm just going to, if um, administrators and, and counselors, if you're able to turn on your cameras, just so I can give you a, just a brief wave, because these will be some of the key players for you to know over the next little while as far as the course selection process. So Mr. Bernard, he was the gentleman that was uh, over there, the wave, thank you, Mr. Bernard. He's one of the vice principals on the team that was um, organizing this and showing all those great pictures at the beginning for us. Also on the admin team, we have Ms. Clark. Give us a wave, thanks, Ms. Clark. She's uh, acting vice principal, so she also has the title of school counselor here. So it's been great. I should mention that we have Ms. Schramm, who's the acting principal over at Sardis Secondary as part of our admin team, who's uh, obviously putting her energy towards Sardis Secondary right now. And I also have Troy Gibbs, uh, or Mr. Gibbs, our vice principal, who is unable to join us this evening. And then Ms. Hancock, can you give us a wave there? Right beside her, we have Ms. Goss, our counselor. Those, those two fine counselors are gonna be coming over to Mount Slessy tomorrow. And they're really key players in kicking off this whole process. Great contacts. Oh, I should mention, make sure I get my alpha right. The way it's organized is by last name, that you have a, a targeted school counselor to support you. So A to G is Mr. Price for last names A to G. H to N is Miss Goss. And then O to Z is Miss Hancock. So thanks, team. Uh, again, families, you're going to be able to connect uh, with our teachers in various different breakout rooms. I'm going to pass her off to Miss Hancock. She's going to give a lot of information about the course selection process. So thank you. And over to you, Miss Hancock. Hi, everybody. Uh, technology is not my strength. Uh, so give me a moment to share. So um, currently I'm doing, Mr. Lawson, remind me what I'm doing right now. The grade eight to the grade oh, so eight. I apologize, Paul, did you want to do the video first? I, I've moved away from the agenda, I apologize. So before we start the counseling team, we have a a short video that outlines some of the programs you're offering to your gram. We'll start with that sure, first yeah. and we'll go from there. Thanks. Do you like to eat out? Do you like movies? Concerts? Cars? Clothes? Going to amusement parks? Life isn't all about money, but all those things currently require money. So, what are you going to do about it? Get a job? Great. 
Did you know? Fact. High school graduates make an average of $30,000 per year or $104,000 over a 40 year period. Not bad, but fact. Canadian university graduates make on average $56,000 per year or $745,000 over a 40 year period. That's more than six times as much over a lifetime as someone who attended high school. Fact. Most North American universities require two to three years of foreign language classes. Some as an entry requirement, some as a graduate requirement. This means completion of three years of a foreign language is in your best favor. So, what are you gonna do about it? Sign up for language. At GW Graham, you can study French, Spanish, or both. In our class, we go snowshoeing. And we go skiing and snowboarding too. We do many water sports, such as canoeing, kayaking, and paddleboarding. We explore mountains, oceans, and rivers. We go hiking and wilderness camping. <laughs> Truth be told, I don't know where I'd be without the theater, but I definitely would not be the person that I am today. Theater started as an escape for me in middle school, and it turned into one of my very favorite things to do. Theater helped me find myself, and it helped me find some of my very best friends. When I first stepped foot into the theater, I felt welcomed almost instantly. I've had amazing opportunities, such as going to drama festivals, sold out performances, and plus we get to work in an actual theater right here at GW. Among many other things, your cast becomes your family and the theater becomes your home. Over the past few years that I've done theater, I've learned a lot in this amazingly complex art form. But to me, what really matters is the people that I've met and the experiences that I've made with them. I don't know where I'd be without the theater. It's an amazing opportunity and I don't think that it should be passed up. Every day there's something new to learn or discover or another form that uh, you hadn't heard of yet. It's always amazing to see people taking interest in it and beginning their journey for the first time. I hope to see more people doing it in the future. Hello GW Graham Grizzlies. My name is Mr. Mortz and I'm the athletic director here at GW Graham. If you're looking to balance your studies with some active healthy living, make sure to check out PE department and all the courses we have to offer. Whether it's strength and conditioning in timetable and or out of timetable, health and fitness, regular PE 9 to 12, one of our many sports specific PE classes, PE leadership or outdoor education, we've got something for everyone. So check it out on the website, check it out on the calendar. If you have questions, you can email Ms. Folka or myself, Mr. Mortson, or any of the PE teachers. Come down to the PE office, ask your questions, check us out on social media. Make sure that you find the course that's right for you. Can't wait to start fresh. Pride, spirit, passion. Here it comes. Thanks everyone. Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm a grade 12 student at GW Graham and I'm going to be talking about the art courses that we offer at GW as well as my experiences. My experience with art at GW has been nothing but amazing and I consider the art room my home away from home. It's a really good break from your academics and can open up so many new experiences and you can meet so many new people and make so many new friends. So first we have art 9 and 10 which are the beginners classes and covers all of the basics. We have ceramics 10 to 12, which you don't need any prior art experience for, and you would be working with a variety of 3D media mainly focused on clay. 
Art Studio 11 to 12 is the senior version of Art 9 and 10. It does not start at the beginning, meaning that you would need prior experience, whether that is Art 9 or 10. We have Photography 11 and 12, which are new classes and covers the things that you would need to know to take a perfect photo, whether that's knowing how to work a camera, work with lighting. Drawing and Painting 11 and 12 is a class solely dedicated to drawing and painting and that I strongly recommend if you want to go into art after high school and even if you are just passionate about art. The art room is an amazing and accepting environment and it's so fun to be around people who are passionate about the same things that you are. Social study starts in grade nine. In grade nine, you have the options of humanities or humanities fine arts. Humanities nine combines English and social studies nine into a cross-curricular format, which includes making connections to a variety of texts as well as creating your own, as well as learning about political and technological revolutions. Humanities nine fine arts includes the same topics as the normal humanities nine, but views it through a project-based and hands-on learning. So what about the social studies options in grade 10? Social studies 10 follows the development of Canada in the 20th century, including its growing involvement of international affairs, as well as significant political, economic, and social changes. Wh but physical geography might be the course for you. This course features three broad areas of inquiry, physical geography, weather and climate, as well as environmental sustainability. It also examines how humans have an effect on the world around them. These are all the socialist courses we provide at GW Graham. If you have any questions, hunt down your counselor. I'm passionate about robotics. It's a challenge that I took on end of the year last year, and I, it's a real challenge. That's just it, it's a real challenge. Trying to learn how to build and code and work on visual skills that I don't have uh, very strongly is really, really important, and I'm having so much fun. Competitions are really great, and I'm excited for next year's season as well. Film and television is a growing area at GW Graham. When you take film, you get to take on many roles including directing, acting, cinematography, editing and sound, just to name a few. You get to use cameras, gimbals, lighting and sound equipment, and learn how to edit using industry standard software. After taking film class, I found a new appreciation for all the work that goes into producing a movie. It gave me a deeper respect for the process and I feel I can enjoy movies in a different way. I liked film because it helped me express my creativity and made me more confident in myself. It let me present my ideas in filmmaking and improve my filmmaking skills. I originally considered taking film because I was curious how to edit with software. But as soon as I started, I realized that film was so much more than that. I've taken film twice now, and I found a love for all of the different roles involved in filmmaking. 
I feel like I've gotten to improve my social skills and work in group situations, and I can feel more comfortable taking on a leadership role, which is something I never considered before. It's helped me come out of my shell and find something I'm passionate about. And it's been something that I definitely will continue doing in the future. Hey guys, my name is Mr. Monkman and I want to talk to you about the course offerings here for the music department at GW Graham. Uh, the biggest portion of our program is the band, band portion. This is concert band 9, 10, 11, and 12. This is for people who play the traditional concert band instruments who have played them in middle school and want to continue on them in high school. We also offer jazz band 9 through 12. We have an inside the timetable jazz band and an outside the timetable jazz band, as well as pep band for people who want to play rock and pop music uh, on their traditional band instruments. We offer the only string orchestra in the district, so if you play a violin, viola, cello, or upright bass, um, we have a string orchestra, or if you're interested in learning those instruments. We also offer choir, 9 through 12. This is for people who like to sing or want to learn how to sing. Um, and that course is inside the timetable. For people who have more experience singing uh, or want to sing in the pop styles, we offer vocal jazz, 9 through 12. This is an outside the timetable course. Um, uh, for people who have experience singing or want to learn to sing. And last but not least, uh, we have guitar. Uh, we offer two versions of guitar. There's a beginner guitar for people who have never played guitar at all and want to start learning the instrument. And there's an advanced guitar for people who already have guitar experience and want to continue their growth on the instrument. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can find my email on our website, gwgmusic.ca. Thanks. Humanities Fine Arts combines all of the learning outcomes of English 9 and Social Studies 9. Students will have opportunities to explore these outcomes through an artistic and cross-curricular lens. This program focuses on creative expression, project-based learning, and artistic collaboration. It is a great fit for outside-of-the-box thinkers and those looking for opportunities to challenge themselves by demonstrating their learning in different ways. GWG Woodshop. If you're looking for magic, this is where it's at. The Woodshop, we do the fun stuff here. The practical stuff here. We're all about in the junior shop anyways. Cutting boards, tables. We sometimes we mix in some steel with the wood or some other. We've brought in the other CNC stuff. So your designs, your projects with some basic other stuff and it looks great. Don't wait, sign up now. Hey guys, welcome to GW Graham Metal Shop here. If you've never taken metalwork before, you're gonna sign up for the entry level course. You're going to learn to fabricate, weld, and different machining techniques through various types of projects here, as well as how to do CNC plasma cutting. Once you finish do the entry level course, you're gonna be learning how to do more advanced skills in your next course. Start with the grade 11 senior course, 
Then once you get to grade 12, you get to do more focused on welding or machining. And after that, we're gonna have more of a self-directed course where you get the opportunity to build stuff like Thor's hammer or Cap's World War II shield or some other projects like medieval gauntlets. Now that's also gonna be able to do that in your other courses, providing your skill level. Hello, my name is Steve Link and welcome to the Trade Sampler at GW Graham Secondary School. You can consider this class a springboard into your career in the trades, a way that you can gain access to industry and build some skill sets that you may not otherwise have in a normal high school course. It's a combination of place-based learning, certificate training, and relevant work experience that'll give you an advantage over others as you enter the workforce. The ITA sponsors this program and they have a mantra that states that work hard, live well. We like to follow that model in our class and in the expectations of our students who participate in our program. Whether you're hoping to transition to apprenticeship after high school or entry level trades training in post-secondary institution, this course is designed to foster confidence in the workplace. Uh, through a series of field trip experiences, work placements and off-site job sites, we want to make you familiar with a work site so that you have the confidence to move ahead. The curriculum meanders through a multiple trade areas here at the high school and culminates with four weeks at UFV to round out your learning experience. All interested applicants are encouraged to apply early and work closely with their counselors to ensure that they can fit this one semester program into their grade 11 or 12 year at GW Graham Secondary. I hope you enjoyed that, that short video there. That's so those are the great programs we have here at uh, GWG. Uh, there was one small glitch. Um, that we just realized that we are opening two meetings at the same time. So some of our grade eight parents might be going to the wrong meeting. Um, if, if you happen to know some people who are experiencing that issue, please let them know that this is being recorded and that they weren't able to join us this evening here. We will post it on the website so they can watch later. But we apologize for that. A lot of planning went to this, but unfortunately with technology, Sometimes we have some glitches, which is one we're having tonight. So at this point, Ms. Hancock, I think you're uh, able to join us and speak a bit on the side of the counseling. And you have access to also uh, show stuff you like. Thanks, Mr. Bernard. Um, Hang on a second here. <laughs> there we go. So this um, this is the information that is for um, directed to students and parents of uh, students going into grade nine. That is the grad class of 2026. Like Mr. Bernard said, this stuff, uh, this information will be available uh, on the uh, website. And additionally, the counselors are going to Mount Celesti tomorrow. We will be there all day, and we will be speaking to each and every one of the grade eights um, at uh, Mount Celesti. So um, the information that we have available is on the website. We have a hard copy that students will be getting tomorrow. Uh, it looks like this. And there's a hard, there are hard copies coming to the school, but we also encourage people to go online and to look at the course selection. There's a digital format there and everything is really nicely laid out and certainly easy to access. And it's much nicer on the environment than the hard copies. So this is the exciting part that we have for our students. They are midway through grade eight on their way to grade nine. They are here. You are here. Okay, so starting our course planning, we actually start our course planning, your career planning in grade nine, because in grade nine, we want students to be planning for their grade 12, grade 10 courses, preparing for their grade 10, 11 and 12 courses, and then for their careers beyond that. Um, so this is a very important start for your career uh, graduation program. Okay, let's go, there we go. So students will be getting a course selection form tomorrow. It will look like this. It's this lovely coral color. It's two-sided. And uh, we're going to be asking that students fill out these courses, these course selection forms as carefully as possible. We will go through this in very great detail tomorrow. Um, at the classes, but we're just doing a very brief overview right now. 
Um, so students will be getting this tomorrow in their classes at uh, Mount Celesi and counselors will be going through the program. It will be due to their, uh, to their teachers on Monday, February the 14th. Um, so students will have a little over a week, two weekends and a full school week to get all this stuff done. Um, so just so you know, students are going to be asked to um, pick uh, uh, from humanities. They are required to do a humanities. And as you saw in the video, there are three options available. There's the humanities, uh, your basic English and social studies. There's the humanities, fine arts, and that's with a focus on, uh, well, fine arts, but still getting the same curriculum. And the Graham X program, which is a cross-curricular program. And that is explained in detail in the um, uh, program, pardon me, in the course planning booklet. Additionally, children get to pick one of the ways that they can show their learning in PE. So they can have a regular PE class, they can have a PE leadership class, or they can pick from one, one of the many sports specific PE courses. If they're going for a sports specific PE course, uh, there will be some feedback from current teachers uh, at Mount Celesi to make sure this is a good of choice for those students. Uh, the students do not have to pick um, math, science, career ed, or flex. We'll do that for them. We are asking students that they get they get three elective choices. Uh, please choose one fine arts, one ADST, which is applied design and skills and technology, and then another. Um, please don't choose all three fine arts or all three um, applied skills. It just doesn't work that way. We're then asking that you pick three elective backups, ones that you're interested in, and then if you want an outside the timetable one. There's also a place for the students to write a little note to the counselor, and we're asking that parents sign the form so they indicate that they have um, had a chance to look and approve of what their child is choosing. So this is the exact same thing, um, but it's actually written out instead of me just talking about it. They are, students are required to do a humanities. That's an absolute requirement. They are required to do a PE. They get to pick which way they want to do that. Um, they are, they need to pick three electives. And again, one from the fine arts, one from the applied skills and one from the other, and then three backup electives. And again, there's that spot if there's a, if there's some information we need to know. All that stuff needs to be entered on the yellow, pardon me, the lovely coral form um, and handed in to their teachers by February 14th. So this is the timeline that we have here. February is our, is our um, course planning month. So tonight is the parent information night. Tomorrow, Graham counselors will be at Mount Celesi. Okay, so then you have uh, a week to um, do some research. Please, please, please spend the time looking at our course planning booklet. Look at the videos that are offered on the uh, GW Graham website. Think long-term, not just next year. We, like I said, we're starting your grad program. Um, on February, uh, Counselors will be available for some one-on-one -on -one visits tomorrow, depending on the schedule. And also uh, at, on the 11th, we'll be back for at lunchtime just to chat with anybody, any of the students who wish to chat with us. On February 14th, we are asking you once again to return those course selection forms to your humanities teacher. Please make sure they are completed. And it's a really great idea for you to take a photo of that course selection form yourself, just so that you have a good record of it um, in case, I don't know, your dog eats it or it gets dropped in the mud puddle, you can um, make sure that you have that information. Please make sure your name, your student email, your parents, or your parents email um, is on the form very carefully so that we can read this when we go to enter your course selections into the computer. Um, so we know that uh, change is, um, high school's coming up ahead and change is, Change is hard and stress is typical. And we know that this is, a, this is a concerning for some students and some parents. And we have lots of supports in place at UW Graham. And we have a great uh, partnership with Mount Celesi. So we can coordinate various visits. Um, we can't do school visits right now because of the COVID restrictions, but we find a way around that. And we will certainly uh, connect with teachers and staff at Mount Celesi to make sure any student that's looking for some additional supports here at UW Graham, we will have available for you. Um, so just some tips for thriving in high school. You'll notice that says thriving in high school, not just surviving high school. For students, basically be here. We want to hear, we want to see you, we want to see your happy faces. Uh, you are going to be an amazing contributor to our school and I want, we want to see you here every day. Be a grizzly, get involved, make connections with our school, the staff, your peers. 
We have amazing teams, clubs, extracurriculars, different, uh, different learning opportunities. Please take advantage of that. Her parents were asking almost the exact same thing, but grown up version. Be involved in your child's education. Attend all the various events that are um, available for you. Make sure your contact information is always up to date. If you've moved or if you've changed your phone number or you've changed your emails, please let the schools know so that we can track you down when we need to. Uh, when your students start attending here, know who their teachers are. It's gonna be a little different. They're gonna have lots more teachers than they're used to. And we need to make sure um, that you're communicating effectively and we know how to track you down and you know how to track us down. Your, your student will have lots of kids in there, lots of adults in their corner. And we want to make sure that we're supporting your students as best as possible. Um, once, once your student is registered at GW Graham for uh, September, parents and students will uh, be given a MyEd um, account and instructions will be provided for that right uh, just about when the beginning of school starts. So you will be taught about our school program that we use very extensively um, to make sure that you have all that information and you can keep up to date with things. We rely very heavily on technology um, and we wanna make sure that everybody knows how to use the tools that we have available. Our school website is updated on a regular basis. It is a very well uh, laid out school website and there's lots and lots of information. Um, please take advantage of all the information that's laid out for you. I know this sounds like a little bit of uh, overkill, but I wanna make sure that uh, we understand the process moving forward. Your child will be completing the grade nine course selection form. And we're asking that students select the courses that are they want, not for their friends, but for them themselves. So you're gonna complete the orange coral course selection form. Make sure that you've picked one of the humanities options, one of the PE options, uh, put three elective options. As we said, a fine arts, applied skill and another. Um, an alternate, give us your backup plan. Uh, take the orange course selection home so that the parents can sign it. And it'd be a really great idea if someone takes a picture of this. So we have a record on the off chance somebody loses their form and get that into your teachers at Mount Celesi. Okay. Um, when picking your options, we will talk about this at the school a little bit more closely tomorrow, but please make sure the options you're taking are ones that you want to take and are appropriate for what your career choices are as you're going forward. Keep your doors as open as possible. You got lots of choices and lots of opportunities to learn and we want you to take advantage of that. Uh, finish grade eight strong. You're going to be coming to, to grade nine. We want to make sure you're as prepared as you possibly can. So take advantage of all those amazing teachers that you have at Mount Celesi. Take advantage of the opportunities to get your learning uh, to enhance your learning and to make sure that you're really challenging yourself to do your best every single day that you're at um, Mount Celesi. Um, so like uh, Mr. Mr. Larson said, Lawson said in the beginning of the, uh, of the evening, uh, we divide up our counselors by alpha. So if your child's last name is, uh, begins with A to G, your counselor would be uh, Mr. Thomas Price and that's his email right there. If your counselor's last name is H to 10, uh, our, our acting counselor is Amanda Goss, her email is right there as well. And if your last name starts O through Z, you're with me, Ms. Hancock, and our emails are there. If you can't remember, that's okay. Just send us, any one of us an email, we'll happy to redirect it as possible. Um, and like we say, this is the very start of the process. It's not, it's not, everything written down is not written in stone. We just need to start the process. And now's the time that we're going to start it. Um, we, I'm going to take questions, uh, but I'm not quite sure how to do that. So. Um, well, Mrs. Hancock, what we're going to do is uh, when we go into our breakout rooms, we'll have you in a breakout room. Okay, students, thank you. Their parents are free to join you and ask any questions and come and come go to different break rooms as we go along. Okay, so do I need to stop sharing my screen? If you're ready, you may do so, yes. Okay. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for your patience. So thank you, everybody, again, for your patience as we try to navigate what's always a, uh, a unknown with technology. So like I said earlier, we had some issues with multiple meetings being set. Um, and so there's actually a, a hopefully some parents would, were able to switch over this meeting and join us here. But uh, if is there a multiple meeting? If you know somebody who was there, let them know, please, that this is being recorded. 
we will post it on our website. We apologize for that. But so at this point, uh, we're going to open some breakup rooms so parents can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with teachers who who teach the various programs. Uh, you'll have to self-select your room. So when the option comes up, just there's a list of, of teachers in, in various programs. Feel free to join them. They'll be there to answer any questions. We'll do a 15-minute piece. And after 15 minutes, we'll switch to uh, everyone back to the main room and then we'll re, uh, recreate break room so you can again join uh, join another group if you have some more questions. So we'll start that right now and uh, hope you guys have some good conversations. All right, thanks everybody for joining us and we're excited to see you in September. Um, so have a good evening. And all teachers, if you want to sign into the next session, it's open for the grade nine to grade 12s. Bye.